What's up? Welcome to Fourth Wall. My name is Leah and I'm going to be taking you through the onboarding process and kind of walking you through how to get your shop set up. So let's dive into it. Now, after you add your creator name and your information for what social platforms you're on, you get to pick your starting theme. Now, don't worry if you're not vibing with any of these right off the bat. There's a lot of customization you can do, but I'm going to go with my personal favorite, digital throwback. Once you pick your theme, you'll be drawn to our dashboard. And it's great because you actually get your own little checklist right here that'll kind of walk you through what you should do. So the first thing that we're going to do following this is create our product. So we go to create our first product, design something new, and we have a pretty wide catalog for you to choose from. I always recommend when you're starting off just to scroll down, we've got some great best sellers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this Cotton Heritage hoodie. It's one of my fave hoodies. I do have it. It's so comfortable and it's really easy to customize. You just go to customize now. It'll take you right to our product designer. It's behind me, but I'll let you see. Let's you upload your image. Now I've gone ahead and added the fourth wall logo. This is a smaller file, which is a great example because you'll see if I make it a little too big, it's letting me know, hey, this is okay quality, not ideal. If I make it way too big, it's gonna tell me, hey, this is too low quality. So this is a great feature to keep in mind when you're dealing with the quality of your images. So you know what's good, but I'm gonna keep this guy small and we're gonna make it a little left chest moment. Now you can add multiple colors as well. You go right here, add or remove colors. And let's say we wanna do a nice forest green and a nice purple. Now a great way to look and make sure this design looks good on those colors is to go to our preview. You can see it right here. You're going to get those nice generated mock-ups. This is what it looks like in the black preview. This is what it looks like in the green preview and the purple preview. I'm a big fan of the purple actually, but now we've got our three colors. Let's move on. From here, you'll be able to see all your product images and now we can give our product a name. So let's call this fourth wall logo hoodie. You can add a description if you'd like a super sick hoodie. And then you can choose your selling price. So you'll see it right here. It's priced at $39 automatically. And it tells us we're making $13 per sale. I like to round it off. So say I want to do it at 40. It's gonna let me know we're making $14 per sale. So you'll be able to see what your profit's gonna be right there in our product designer. When you're good from here, we'll just go next. And now it'll take us to our full product listing page. All the details are here. This is great because you're actually able to see like these product images. And you see, we don't have a design on the back. So I'm just gonna click this and delete that image and do the same thing for this image as well. Another great thing to call out is that if you want a different color to be the first color, like the one that shows up on your shop page, you can just take this and literally drag it and drop it. And now that'll be the first one that appears on your shop. I'm gonna go ahead and make the purple one the one that shows up. I feel like it fits my aesthetic better. And then you can also make it public so that everyone has access. So we'll save it as a public product. We'll save all of our changes. And now we're ready to move on to the design of the site. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is customize the look of our website that's next on our checklist. So you could click here to go right into it, but normally you're gonna go to your design and layout. And then you'll see here, these are the three products I have. I made two other ones just so we could see what it looks like. From here, we can completely customize our shop. So first, you can start off with your logos and your identity. You can go ahead and drop a logo here. So you know I'm gonna drop the fourth wall logo. Now that that's done, we can go to colors and appearance and you know I have to change the colors. I, I Green's a great color, but I'm a big pink fan. So we're gonna just change everything to fit that. So we're going with this nice pink color. I kind of like the rest, keeping it simple, but you know, maybe we can make this background a little light purple instead of white. Yes, I'm liking this vibe already. You have a lot of control over your shop. So you could change the corner radius, make your corners rounded on your buttons as you can see, which I really like how that looks. Uh, you can change all of these settings here. I kind of like everything else. Like I said, there's a lot of customization you can do, but already it's starting to feel more like my shop. You can add your social links, which I always recommend doing. It's super easy. Say I've already got my Twitch linked in there, but even if I want to link my YouTube, super easy, I just look up my name. There it is, there I am. We're gonna go over to our layout. Now this is one of my favorite parts. You can really customize this to be your own. You can see here, like we've got kind of this default setting with our featured collection. This image, I don't really have an image that I wanna put here. So I'm deciding I'm just gonna delete this section. And you can see here when I go to add a section, we've got a lot of different options. You can do your TikTok feed and image, rich text, custom HTML. I mean, there's a lot to look through. So definitely look at these and customize your shop. I'm gonna do my recent videos because that links to my YouTube. And you can see all my recent videos with my very fun thumbnails. They're just right there at the bottom of my shop, which is super cool. Now I'm really liking how this is looking. I feel like my shop is kind of ready to go. So I can decide right here in the top, Right now, it's the coming soon section. I can allow early access with a password if I want to give my mods early access. I could schedule it to go live at a certain time. 
And you can still allow early access with a password. So like you can schedule it to go live. I could pick a specific date and specific time. I could either allow a password or no password, or I could just set it live immediately. Then from there, our shop is kind of ready to go. But there are a couple other features I wanna go over before you leave. Now in your dashboard, you have a lot of tabs. I definitely recommend looking into all of them. You have your analytics. You'll be able to see all your contributions, what your profit looks like, everything in here. I also definitely recommend checking out our promotions. You can create your own promo codes, your own giveaway links right in here. It's super easy to run some promotions for your community or give away things to a specific person. And then lastly, going to your settings. This is one of the most important parts. You can add new team members. We go to your apps. This is one of my favorite sections. You can connect your stream elements alerts, your stream labs alerts, Twitch product gifting, TikTok feed, Instagram, YouTube, Merch Shelf, all of that's right here. And you can just go in and configure those. Another important part is your domain. If you got a custom domain, you can hook it up to fourth wall for free. So I definitely recommend doing it if you have one or using a subdomain, like I do shop.leasedanio.com. You can do anything like that. Super easy to connect right in here. And then last, very important, your billing and payout section. Now here's where you'll set up your payouts. You can just click through here and go through the payout process to set out your payout method. And then you can also add a payment method so that if you wanna do a giveaway link um, and you don't have the profit in your account to take out from that, you can just set it up so it goes from your card. So again, it's super easy to get things set up with fourth wall. That was a super quick walkthrough of how to get your shop up and running, but I hope it was really helpful. As always, feel free to reach out to support at fourthwall.com if you have any other questions regarding what we went over today, but I'm wishing you the best of luck on your merch drop.